What's up, everybody? Well, today I'm back on my series that I like to call Franken Hoover. Basically, in this series, I custom build a Hoover Elite that would more or less test my creativity and to see how a custom Elite would turn out. And today I thought I'd come up with this creation. What I have right here is the modern interpretation, more or less, of a Hoover Elite 600. This is essentially what a modernized setup for an Elite 600 that you could get. And there's not really that much to say, it's just your typical average ho styled Hoover Elite. As you can see, I made this a soft bag because the the older Elite 600s were a soft bag machine. So let's give a walk through of it. This being honestly one of the more higher end models, it has the larger handle grip that interestingly enough is actually a, the black plastic, which is different from the gray plastic body of the machine. I kind of like that Hoover did this before they went to the all black plastic body. And like I said, soft bag. And here's the zipper on the side of the bag. On the right side, I will add. This is before when Hoover moved the zipper to the left of the outer bag because this eventually got in the way for the tools because there were other models that had the side mount plastic hose, unlike this one, which has the stretch hose. It would stretch out this far to cover the entire side zip, so that's probably the reason why Hoover moved it to the left. But anyway, here's your access to your Type A bag. So anyway, right here you have your tools on board. You have your extension wand and the hose, obviously. And on the back you have your, crev your excuse me, dusting brush, your crevice tool, and your upholstery tool. All of which are colored in gray because that's the thing that Hoover Elites did back then. They colored their attachments and as well as the cord gray. This is before the years when they went to a darker gray color. And as we move on down, very beautiful color tone to the body. And here's the front hood. This is obviously a donor hood, but which I honestly like this hood style a lot better than, than the square hood models. Of course, the square hood models are a little bit more higher end, but I just feel like this design has more character, which is why I like it a little bit better. But you have your four carpet height adjustment settings and your cleaning tool port right here brushed edge cleaning on both sides cleaning effectiveness this is just nothing but hoover's marketing technique back then in the day and it claims to use only seven amps but that's not true this motor in there being that it would be a modern elite 600 this has a six amp motor so it draws a little bit less than this and also, this does have a, a dedicated stair cleaning handle. Basically, how it works is while you're vacuuming stairs, you basically hold it right here to, while the vacuums were climbed back to clean your carpeted stairs. And like I said, this is the Hoover Deluxe Top Fill Bag. Now let's go ahead and flip this thing underneath to show you the underside. Right here is its brush roll. This is a single row brush roll that I'm running in this. Normally the Elite 600s would have a dual row, but I wanted to see how a, how a single row brush roll would act on one of these Elites with a six amp motor. And so far it seems to do pretty good. This is one of the brush rolls that has very stiff bristles with these white bristles. The 
The green bristle brush rolls have much softer bristles and aren't as aggressive as these stiffer ones do. For being a single row brush roll, it definitely agitates better. And as you can see, it's obviously running the older style bottom plate that doesn't have the extra ridges. It just has the one down the center. So arguably, I believe this gives it better grooming action to the carpet. And there's the model number right here. This doesn't really matter because it's a custom built machine anyway. But anyway, it the 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 model that its base was donated off of was U4713-910. 120 volts, 60 hertz, 6 amps for household use only, made in the USA. And honestly, there's really not that much to say about it other than, oh, right here you have your on-off power switch on the side. This is another thing that's famous for Hoover Elites. They had the power switch mounted on the side. Higher end models would have had it on the handle. But anyway, I think I've pretty much shown all the features on this and the only thing left to do is to demonstrate it in action. So for now, let's go ahead and unravel the cord. The cord is very nice and long. This is has to be at least a 30 foot cord. Just gonna run it down to make sure there are no tangles in the cord. All right, now we'll go ahead and plug it in. And we'll go ahead and turn this thing on and demo it for you guys. Now, quick disclaimer, typical Hoover Elite fashion, these things are pretty loud. So headphone users, I advise turning down your volume. So. Here we go.
think that's how the motor sounds. Runs very nice. And before we end the video, let's go ahead and demonstrate this in tool mode. So anyway, that's how the hose disconnects from the vacuum and it plugs down in like so. Now don't expect high suction out of this in tool mode because this is a direct air machine. Everybody, I hope you've enjoyed this other edition of the Project Franken Hoover series. Be sure and stay tuned, and don't forget to like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.